Hi all, welcome back to my lecture series. This is Muthumina, Assistant Professor from the Department of Agriculture and Engineering. Today we will see the continuity of yesterday's processing methods. Today we will see something about extrusion processing that comes under food process engineering under the unit Advanced Machinery and Equipment in Agricultural Engineering 2 under the subject Automation Techniques in Agriculture Engineering for the students of second year fourth semester. Before going into the session, we will have a small recap what at all we have seen at the previous classes. We have seen what is food process engineering, under which what are the methods involved in food process engineering, uh, why do we need to go for food process engineering and uh, why is it so much important in optimizing it and uh, what are the techniques involved, the main methods, thermal processing and non-thermal processing. Today we will see the exclusive method that is extrusion processing. Extrusion in the sense it is a processing system that utilizes a single screw or a se several set of screws to force the food materials through a small opening. It is similar to that of uh, the um, snack uh, preparing molds. Here what we will do in the sense we will uh, force the food through the extruder and the foods are cooked by the high pressure along with shear and temperature and this environment is usually created through the help of utilizing screws which helps as an in encasing in the barrel and this is what I have shown in this picture. The main importance of extrusion cooking is that it is the preferred food processing techniques due to its continuous process with high productivity uh, which involves high temperature and short time cooking period while destroying both the microbial organisms and anti-nutrient enzymes that will help us to result in significant nutrient retention products with longer shelf life. Uh, our main aim of uh, Following certain food processing methods is to increase the quality of the food along with the shelf life. As you all know that the shelf life plays a major role while consuming a food because until that period the food will be in a good quality. If the shelf life of the period is exceeded then the enzyme growth will start back to grow again and then the quality of the food will get recreated which results in the consumption of microbial activated foods. This will cause a serious health defects among the consumption. There are four categories that are involved in extrusion technique and the first one is cold technique, second one is hot, the third one is steam induced and the final one is co-extrusion. That means as I have said in extrusion process what we do in the sense we will fill the food particles into a barrel and after the barrel has been filled we will encase them with the help of screws and while encasing them when the food particles get passed through there will be an inlet where the temperature could be maintained along with hot temperature also parallelly we could also uh, take cold temperature or steam induced. This is how the usage of pressure uh, which depends upon the temperature maintenance and also the usage of steam induction plays a major role in identifying on which method the extrusion process takes place. The better example of extrusion process is um, the conveyor that is used for uh, ice cream storer where when we are uh, asking for a cone they will extrude from uh, extrude the ice cream from a pipe as a cone shape so that we can consume it. Similarly, the extrusion uh, uh, thing which is used in cafe days, that is uh, at the coffee, uh, coffee days, there will be a steam induced barrel from which the hot milk or hot water will come out of it. These are some of the examples that involves in extrusion techniques. And also the most commonly used extrusion techniques are steam induced and also the cold induced one. And why we do prefer in the sense when we store them in a barrel what happens in the sense it will help us to maintain the temperature um, the, and also to uh, nullify the growth that will happen in the near future. 
the growth in the sense i am indicating here the microbial activity because when the growth of the microbe starts together then it is not in good quality and it is not good for consuming it so in order to enhance the shelf life that is um, the good nature of the food product has to be enhanced so that is why we are indicating them as a shelf life so enhance the shelf life we have to take up a proper measure to store them and also to utilize them so this is where the extrusion process helps us where it helps us to extend the shelf life all and also it helps us to act as a conveyor so this is what i have prepared for today's class see you at the next class if you guys have any kinds of doubt in extrusion processing methods you guys can contact me anytime uh, thank you